Hey, what's going on everybody? This is actually going to be an official instruction video so you guys can send me your best matches of 2010 so far. Um, you know, if you're unfamiliar with this, we, we did this last summer. We did this right after Christmas for the best matches of 2009. I was really, really happy with the way that came out. You know, we saw some matches that we had never heard about. You know, we saw this Jun Kasai versus Riji Ito death match in Japan. That was crazy. I never saw anything like that. We just saw a whole plethora of matches that we had never heard of that were really, really good matches. So, if you haven't seen that video, definitely check it out. I just thought it came out great, so uh, uh, take a look at that. So, so this is how it works. Basically, you'll send me your top five matches of the year so far. Your first place match will get 25 points. Second place will get 20. Third place will get 15. Fourth place will get 10. And your fifth place match will get five points. But at the same time, you can send me three honorable mentions, and the uh, honorable mentions will be worth one point each. And, you know, we do the honorable mentions because, you know, um, you know, I don't really want anyone to complain, so this is your chance, you know, to show Matt some love if, if you thought it was a great Matt. So, uh, definitely take advantage of that. And uh, in addition to everything I just talked about, I'm actually going to do something different for this one. You, you could send me just one vote, just vote for one. Uh, send me the best wrestler of the year so far. And in, in your opinion, who do you think has put on the best matches, has worked the hardest, who's just had the best year so far? And, and try not to vote. You know, for your favorite wrestler, don't only pick a guy if you really think he deserves it. Don't try to just vote for. Uh, let me think of a good example. Um, I, I wouldn't vote like if you're a big Triple H fan. Don't vote for Triple H because you know this is probably, you know, it's easily one of his weakest years ever. So uh, just would not really vote for a guy like that. So try to vote for someone that really, really deserves it. Um, so I guess that's pretty much it. You know, as far as some of the matches you guys should check out that you probably haven't seen before. Um, as far as Jap, it's pretty much Japanese stuff, you know. I'm, I think a lot of you guys have probably missed out on, so uh, you could probably check them out on YouTube. A lot of them are available. Check out some of the Marafuji matches. Marafuji and Kenta had an excellent match, which uh, I advise everyone to check out. I didn't think it was as good as their 2008 match, but it was it was still an awesome match. And uh, you know, Marafuji's had a great run of matches. You know, si similar to Kenta from last year, probably not as strong as Kenta. But uh, still, he's put on some great matches. They're all my favorites, or some of his best matches are in my favorites, so you can check them out. He had a great match against Prince the Bit. Uh, he had a match against Nakajima, Jushin Dr. Liger, and, and uh, you know, there's been some other good Japanese matches. Uh, Go Shizaki and, and Tanahashi had a good match at uh, Wrestle Kingdom 4. Uh, Kota Ibushi's had some good matches in DDT. You know, there's this whole bunch of stuff out there. You know, it's, it's hard to keep up with. There's so much stuff out there, so... Um, you know, Chikara, uh, honestly, I, I don't think Chikara's going to have a lot of uh, nominations or a lot of uh, matches make this list. I, I just haven't seen enough. Uh, I, I haven't seen King of Trios yet, but, uh, you know, it just seems like this is more of a storyline year for Chikara. You know, I don't think they had, they're having any of those great matches that they've had last year. So, I don't know, though. I, I still need to check out some, some of the other shows. But, uh, yeah, so in the description side, you can see a whole bunch of nominations. I probably need some help. I'm probably missing some stuff. If you guys want to help me out and, uh, you know, post in the comments section some matches that I left out that, you know, people should check out. So uh, definitely do that. And uh, as far as the due date, uh, probably extend it to July 5th. I think July 5th uh, will probably be the deadline. You know, this way you guys could check out Supercard of Honor 5. Uh, I believe that will be coming out on DVD uh, sometime during next week, uh, right before 4th of July. It should probably be out by June 27th. So you probably get it around Fourth of July weekend. So, um, so yeah. So uh, send me your list. Send me a private message. Just make sure it's private, uh, so we don't spoil it for anybody. So, and uh, definitely looking forward to it. All right, guys, take it easy.